Hello, I'm Mike Sansom and welcome to Explosive Science. This is a cannon that a very good friend of mine, Julian, um, bought. Then he made a carriage and we fired this loads of times now and it is phenomenal. It's three and a half inches in diameter, the bore, and it makes one hell of a bang when it goes. You watch the kickback. Right, ready? Here we got a roasting bag and inside is about 1.2 kilos of black powder. It's all different varieties, so it's coarse and fine. We're gonna roll this up, shove it in the barrel of the cannon, poke a hole in it, put some more black powder in the fuse hole, attach an electrical igniter, and fire it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Everyone okay, well in front of the barrel now. Thank you. This is a load of newspaper we use for the water and that, that just helps the black powder hold in place and gives it a bit more resistance for the bank. All right, shove that in. Thank you. Ram it home. Phantom Flex. We're recording at two and a half thousand frames a second. One and a quarter kilos of black powder in here and um, then a load of wadding. It's gonna go boom. It's gonna go boom. Five. Black powder delay? Yeah. <laughs> and there you go, you see the fuse fuse light there. Well, it's a bit overexposed. Jetting out the fuse hole. Whoa! See the shockwave that come off that? Yeah. That was our cannon. We filled it with about a kilo and a quarter of black powder. And then in the fuse hole, we poured some more fine black powder and then put an electrical igniter inside. So I had a remote control. I pressed press number one. That ignited the igniter, which in turn jetted down the fuse hole and then fired all that black powder out. What a hell of a bang! <laughs> Do you like that, Jörg? <laughs> so there was no bar in the, in the, in the cannon this no, time? No, just black fire. <laughs> yeah. Those are the bravest cows I've ever seen. I know, they don't move. They don't really move. They're 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 amazing. Amazing. We have done this so many times <laughs> yeah. that they're completely used to it. <laughs> well, Jörg, thank you so much for coming here and, and you've done wonders for my YouTube channel. I can't thank you enough. I mean, I know we're going to start a business together and it's going to be good for the future, so great. Very much, yes. Yeah. I hope you've right. enjoyed the UK. I have enjoyed it, of course I would have enjoyed it more outside if we'd just of the been pandemic playing. in any yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> No, but I also have to say it was physically really, really challenging. Yeah, I mean, exhausting. Now, I, I don't think I could go on for another week. No, now, so no, I'm no, done. No. Time to go home. But we made it all happen. Yeah, and yeah. without you, my friend, it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> well, you actually have so many more things to blow up. I know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame to let them go to waste. Absolutely. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of Jörg's fans. They've been brilliant. Coming to my channel and supporting me is fantastic. Thank you to, to, to Jörg and all of you guys. Um, and yeah, we've still got so much stuff to blow up. Yeah, absolutely. So much, and things that we haven't made. Yes. So. 
when you're when you're back in Germany, you're gonna have to send me a list of all the things that we've forgotten, and then I'll do it, and then I'll send a list to you, and we we'll right. just have to keep doing just, it. Yeah, play back and forth. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But thanks for watching, <laughs> and hope you enjoyed all the rest of our videos. Right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>